Hello everyone, it's Michelle. Today I am collaborating with all of these amazing YouTube creators. We are going to bring you an upcycle of a piece of furniture on each channel. I want to thank Christina of the DIY Mommy for coordinating this collaboration. And not only are we collaborating to bring you an upcycle, this is also a fundraiser for Habitat for Humanity. And Habitat is a nonprofit organization that helps families build affordable homes, guys. I know people who have benefited from Habitat for Humanity, and it makes a huge difference in their lives. So I encourage you to go and check out the playlist in my description box with all the other projects from all the other creators and just enjoy what you've seen. If it is in your heart to give to Habitat for Humanity, the link is below. 100% of the proceeds goes to Habitat. Okay, so this is a Habitat store that you're looking at and they have them throughout the entire country. They have some amazing deals that you can find in these Habitat stores, especially if you're like me and you like to recycle furniture or you like to upcycle furniture, you like to change up a lot. Um, you can really find some interesting, different, unique pieces in Habitat. So I didn't find this in Habitat, but I did get this from a Facebook Marketplace seller. Uh, so I decided to upcycle it. So let me show you what I did. Um, I'm going to use a combination of things. Some of these are not going to get used. So I'm going to use this cashew chalk paint, which I got from Walmart. I'm going to paint the entire thing with that. I'm going to try gel stain because I'm going for a weathered look. I want a really, really weathered look on this table. So I'm going to try some gel stain. I'm also going to try some brown wax, which you're going to see in a minute. The first thing I'm going to do is clean this table down with TSP. I am not going to sand it at all. And that is the reason why I'm using chalk paint, because when you use chalk paint, you do not have to sand. And I apologize. My footage got cut of when I chalk painted this table, but I did chalk paint the whole table. I will link another video below for a chalk painting technique that I've done. This is one coat of the cashew chalk paint, one coat. Now, first thing I'm doing is I'm applying this gel stain over on top of the chalk paint and I'm using a, a rag, a, um, a lint free rag. I did not like the gel stain because it was very difficult to move it around on the piece. Um, very difficult. So I decided to change up when I got to the top. I am now using a brown wax by Waverly and I'll show you a picture of that up in the corner. And I like this a lot better. I'm using a sponge brush to apply it and then I'm using a damp rag to move the wax around. I already tell that it's giving me that nice weathered look that I'm going for. So this is the finish. I did go over the bottom with the brown wax as well. Now I'm going to apply a lime wash and the lime wash is what gives it that really weathered kind of beachy look and I'm just going to apply this on heavily and then I'm going to wipe it off with a lint with a lint free cloth and I did do three thin coats of this lime wash and after I let this lime wash glaze dry for 24 hours I did apply two coats of a flat polyurethane and I may add another coat because this is the kitchen table where we eat all the time but so far I haven't had any issues so this is the finished product right here and I'm absolutely in love with it it even matches the finish on my chairs so I'm just going to show you a quick tablescape, but I'm going to give you a full tour of this room on the next video, but I'm going to show you um, what I'm using on top of the table. 
So guys, if you have any questions about anything that you've seen in the video, let me know in the comments and I will get back with you. And if you like upcycling furniture, you like home decor, you like anything home related, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Again, I have a lot of footage at the end of this video, but I want to thank Christina for organizing this collaboration to raise money for Habitat for Humanity during this holiday season. And like I said, if you feel in your heart that you want to give, click on that link below and 100% of the proceeds goes directly to Habitat for Humanity. And the playlist with all the other furniture upcycles from all these amazing YouTube creators is in the description box. As soon as you finish this video, go check them out. I'm sure you're going to be inspired. So guys, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video.